Okay, this is business 342, page 88, homework problems number one. The green balloon just paid its first dividend. Okay, so it says just paid, so it's been paid. So that dividend is D0. The next dividend would be D1, but this is D0. Okay, so the dividend is 80 cents a share that it just paid. The firm plans to increase the dividend by 4% per year indefinitely. What is the firm's cost of equity if the current stock price is $12.50? If you remember the formula from a, um, a few sections back, P0, which, I mean PT, which is price at time T, is equals to DT plus one, so this is zero. This would be zero plus one, so this would be D0 over R minus G is what they had, but return of equity. They call it cost of equity if it's the company's cost, return of equity if it's the shareholder's return, but it's the same thing. Okay, R E minus G. So D zero, uh, D, uh, T plus one is zero plus one, which is D one in this formula. So this is the formula you're looking at now. It's R E, and they've they've changed it a little bit. They've moved the R to the other side of the equation, and they put D1 over P0, and the growth over here. So basically, the cost of equity, <clears throat> or the return on equity, depending on if you're the shareholder or the or the firm. Same thing though, is D1, which is dividend one over P0, which is the current price plus the growth rate. Now to get D1, you got to take D0 and multiply it times. You got to add one to the growth rate because otherwise you'll just come out with the 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 uh, increase in dividend. You want what the dividend one will be, so you add one to whatever the growth rate is. The growth rate in this case is four percent, so it's a D0, which is 80 cents times 1.04, which is one plus the growth rate. That gives you D1, which is 0.832. So you put D1 over the current price plus the growth rate. And since this is going to come out as a decimal, you want to put the growth rate as a decimal in this. You add them together and they get 10.66%. I made a, a bunch of bonehead mistakes. I was putting D1 as this number, which that is D0 because it says just paid. That means it's been paid. So the next one is D1 for period one. Okay. Problem number two is a similar type of problem. Okay. It says a firm would like to issue new equity shares if the cost of equity declines to 12%. The company pays a constant dividend of $1 per share. So there is no growth rate. If it's a constant annual dividend, there is no growth because the growth is the growth in the dividend. Right? Remember, the G is the growth in the dividend. What does the market price of the stock need to be for the firm to issue new shares? Okay, so what they're saying is the cost of equity, RE, remember it's RE equals D1 over P0 plus the growth rate. RE, they're telling you in advance, is 12%. That's the cost of equity. If you're the firm, it's the return of equity. That's what the RE for if, if you're the investor, the person that owns the stock. Okay. Declines to 12%, which means that the, so the RE is going to be 12%. The company pays a constant dividend of $1 a share. So you know that D1 and D0 and D5 and D8 are all the same. It's $1 because there is no growth rate. So you don't have to take D0 times 1 plus the growth rate because, well, it's D0 times. Uh, one because one plus growth rate is one over the price of zero. So what they want to what you want to do is they're saying what price would you issue the new shares at? So you know this is make sure you do this as a decimal too because remember this is a percent. If you do this just as twelve, you're screwing yourself and you won't figure this out right. Remember these things are as in de are decimals in this case. Okay, so this is 0.12 equals one over p zero plus zero. Well, that's just zero. So one, then you just rearrange this to get one over 0.2 equals P0. P0 equals $8.33. That should have a dollar sign in front of it. 
because this is a dollar. Remember, the dividend's a dollar. All right, so that's problems number one and two on page 88 of Business 342 homework.